hadn't talked to Nick. He never said anything, so I didn't know that I did that. All right, guys, it is the next day, and I'm finally feeling some fucking energy. I needed that sleep so badly. I didn't vlog yesterday just because it, it was too much. I was, I was feeling it, but, but I did have one of our old friends come over. His name's Nick Austin, and we finally talked through our problems. Nick was a part of Hype House for about a year and a half, and then he ended up moving out at the time that Chase went and got this other house, and Nick and Rylan were supposed to move in there, and Nick's just been doing his own thing in life. During this time, Nick and I kind of stopped being friends. One of the reasons for that was that he didn't really tell me he wanted to move out and we were very close friends so I was kind of hurt because I was gonna miss him Nick and I talked every day we spent a lot of time together it was one of my closest friends if not my best friend flash forward to a couple months I was on a podcast called the BFFs podcast and I said a couple of things on that podcast that I probably shouldn't have I was immature and I talked about my friend who I missed poorly on a podcast because I was salty and that was my bad I up and I'm sorry and I told Nick I was sorry yesterday when he came to the house I forgot that I said this on the podcast because I filmed the podcast a couple months before it came out I hadn't talked to Nick he never said anything so I didn't know that I did that because I just it was a long podcast and it came out later than it was supposed to so I forgot then on my birthday Nick never said happy birthday a lot of people that I was friends with that didn't say happy birthday I unfollowed and Nick was one of those people I unfollowed like 200 people on my birthday I started seeing my tags and mentions and snapchat stories and all these things more tiktok shade rooms and all these things were posting about me and Nick unfollowing each other and that is because I unfollowed Nick and removed him as a follower because I was being salty I was being a little bitch. and then I ran into Nick yesterday and I apologized to him and he told me about the podcast and that's why he was frustrated with me this is just a good example of think about what you do try to reflect back on why someone might be frustrated with you I wish that I had done that instead of being immature I'm currently at the warehouse right now my car is at Blake's shop getting wrapped the McLaren is. Blake just sold these tires for me so I got to get them over to him all the way in LA we're gonna go hang out with some people in LA all right guys I'm at the Blake's shop hey what's up guys <laughs> I'm gonna give you guys a sneak peek of what the McLaren looks like so far. I think it looks phenomenal. This Miami blue, this is Miami blue, right? From Nails yep. Attack is beautiful. But I'm only gonna show you guys this. I'm not gonna show you the rest of the plans oh, for it. I was just it. about to spoil it. I'm <laughs> gonna tell them everything. But it'll be done in like a week, hoping for the best. Like two, maybe three. <laughs> <laughs> maybe three months. Let me take it for a couple drives real quick. <laughs> All right, we got home and we're having a very important meeting with one of our, one of our roommates. We brought you here today. <laughs> Leah. Hey, you can't keep hopping up on chairs like this. Oh, you're over our shit. Okay. As you guys know, we got Leo during the intense time of quarantine while we were stuck in the house. And I think a lot of people got dogs or animals during this process. And they've noticed that they've started to get really attached. This is the first time we've been away from Leo for more than two or three days. And that was recently when we went to Hawaii. He's a little attached to us. Oh, sir, sir. He grabbed me. Sir. He's getting a boner. Oh my God. Oh, he's... <laughs> and then there's Blue, the beautiful little husky that has the most attitude I've ever seen in a dog. Are you hungry, Blue? <laughs> Come here, Blue. Come here. No, Leo, not you. He's analyzing the fact that there's no treat. He knows he's too smart. Every time that I walk into this room, I feel a little bit bad for Blue and for Timmy. Timmy, I wanted to sincerely apologize to you, my friend. Um, you guys may be wondering why. We only have a rug out front of our room of just Leo. It's kind of rude. I I'm sorry, Timmy. Can you forgive me? That's a no. <laughs> look, why does he look so sad in this? We need to have three here. I know why you're mad all the time. It's because you don't have a rug in front of the room. I know. I would be mad too. Demi was here first and he doesn't have a rug. Yes, but you're always like, my cat. My cat to everyone. So why would I get a rug made of just your cat? We got him together and you're still like, my cat. <sighs> Wow. All right, guys, that's me for today's video. If you guys did enjoy, go ahead and give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you guys are not already, and let me know if you guys want me to do more story times in the comment section below. I feel like they're kind of entertaining if they're done right, but let me know. Um, we're gonna close out the vlog, right, Leo? <laughs> okay, I'll see you guys tomorrow.